In this video, I'm going to show you how to save settings in a TK Enter application. Here's an example. I have a simple window here. I have a check button at the top and I have a save button. So right now the checkbox or the check button is checked. If I uncheck it and then if I click on save, when I close the window, so the application's closed now, and if I rerun it, the check button is unchecked. So it saved the check button value. Similarly, if I check this check button and then click on save, the next time I start this program, it's going to start as checked. So I'm gonna show you how to save settings in a TK Enter application so that when you close your program and reopen it, uh, it'll load the settings as you had them before. Hi, my name is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. To create this application, the first thing I'll do is I'll import tkenter as tk from tkenter import ttk and we'll create our main window and the main loop, all the standard tkenter stuff. Then here I'm going to give it a size. I'm going to give the window a size of 640 by 480. Okay, so if we run the application now, we just get a blank window as we see here. Okay, then I'm going to create a check button. So chk underscore, I'm gonna call it option one, ttk dot check button. And we're gonna put it into root and the text of that check button, I'm gonna set it to option one. Then we'll pack it onto the screen. And I'm going to show you something interesting. So I'm putting this check button directly onto root. So I'm not putting it into a frame or anything. Watch what happens. So you can see here that my window is a different color. Like the background is a different color than the check button. Um, and it looks kind of weird with, with the two uh, backgrounds. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put a frame to cover the main window so that the background colors blend in. So first, here I'm gonna create a frame. I'm gonna say frame underscore main equal ttk dot frame. And I'm gonna put that frame into root. And down here, I'm gonna say frame underscore main dot pack. And I want you to notice something. I'm, I'm creating the widgets here and I'm packing them at the bottom. So the, the code for creating the widgets is separate from the code that I'm using to actually display the widgets on the screen. I just find this is easier to understand. And you know, when, later on when you go to edit your own code, um, it'll be easier to see what's, what's happening. Okay, so now I'm going to put this check button in this frame. So instead of putting that check button in root, I'm going to put it in frame underscore main. And frame underscore main, I'm going to set it to expand. And I'm going to tell it to fill the whole window like that. Okay, so now if we run it, we can see that the window looks better now. Like... The, the, the background blends in, like the background of this check button blends in with that uh, frame in the background. Um, and this is also one of the reasons why I like to put a frame onto a window and then put widgets inside that frame. I, I usually never put widgets directly onto a window, like into a root window. Okay, so now that this uh, looks fine now, um, we need to work on a button and it's gonna be a save button. Okay, so to do that, I'm gonna say btn for button and save equal ttk.button 
and we're going to put that into the the same frame that we made earlier and the text I'm going to set it to save and here we'll pack that save button on the screen so when we run the application we have a save button and we have a check button up there so far so good okay so obviously the button doesn't do anything right now but eventually we wanted to save the setting of this check button okay so we need to associate a variable like a tk variable to this check button so that it holds the value of whether it's checked or unchecked so to do that I'm going to initialize a TK variable. So this is a special type of variable. It's not a Python variable per se. It's a, a, it's a TK variable. So here I'm going to say V underscore option one. And the V um, stands for variable. And the reason why I put a V here is for me to know that this isn't a normal variable. It's a special TK variable. You can name it anything you want, like any type of regular variable name that you want so v underscore option underscore one equal tk dot boolean var so it's going to be a, a, a boolean variable true or false and we want to assign this tk variable to this check button so here i'm going to put variable equal v underscore option one so this special TK variable is now attached to this check button. So that means whenever this check button gets checked or unchecked, this variable V option one is being filled with its value, uh, true or false. So, so if it's checked, it's going to be true. When it's unchecked, it's going to be false. Okay, so now we should create um, a callback for for the for the button so whenever it's clicked it, it runs a, a a function so I'll create that here I'm gonna say save button clicked and in this save button I want to print the value of this special TK variable so here I'm gonna put V underscore option one and but that's not enough we have to say dot get so and again it's not a, a normal python variable it's a tk variable and that's why we have to run the dot get method on, uh, on this to get the actual uh, value okay and for this button we're gonna add a command equal save button clicked well i guess we better move this uh function up here actually like that so this uh button can can see it okay and we'll fix that okay so so the button is set to run this function whenever it's clicked and it's going to show us the the value of this uh tk variable uh, let's just see it in action okay so if we look at the console down here uh, right now the check button is unchecked if i click on save the value is false and if i check it and if i click on save the value is true okay so that part's working now we need to save that setting to a file so that we can load that file the next time the application starts Okay, so what I'll do is up here, I'm going to say from path lib import path with a capital P. Um, and I'm going to use this to save the settings file and to load the settings file. And here I'm going to say import JSON. And I'm going to save the file in a JSON format. And I'll show you all that here. Okay, so when the save button is clicked, we know that it prints the value true or false properly. So we know this part's working. So here I'm going to write option value equal v option one dot get. 
So this option value is now going to be true or false. And it's just in a normal Python variable. Then I need to create a dictionary, just a normal Python dictionary. So here I'm going to put save data equal, and it's going to be a dictionary. I'm going to set the key to option one, and I'm going to set the value to option value. Then I'm going to convert this dictionary into a JSON format, which is very much like a Python dictionary. So I'm going to say JSON data, I'm going to name my variable that equal JSON dot dump s and I'm going to pass in save data. Okay, so what are we doing here? Here we're getting true or false from that special tk variable. So this is this is only going to contain true or false. Then we're creating a dictionary. We're naming the key option underscore one and we're going to put in true or false here from this variable. So, so far it's just a normal Python variable, it's a dictionary. On this line, we're using the JSON library, which is from here. And we're converting this dictionary into a JSON format. Now, a JSON format actually looks a lot like a Python dictionary. So I'll show you what this JSON uh, variable looks like. So let's print it out. It's a, it's a string, and I'll show you what that string looks like. So we're going to save this to a file eventually. But first, we'll just see the contents of it. So the check button is unchecked. I'm going to click on save and look at the console down here. Okay, so we can see this is the actual JSON format. Option underscore one and then false. And you can see that the F is not capitalized. That's because it's a, it's a JSON version of, of false. If this was a, a Python dictionary, it would be a capital F. Um, yeah, so it, it looks a lot like a normal Python dictionary, uh, but this is in fact um, JSON data. Okay, so we're now generating the, the JSON format that we want. It's just a matter of uh, saving it to a file now. Okay, so up here, I'm going to set a path to a settings file. So I'm going to say settings full path equal, which in my case is this. So this is a path to the full file. So in my case, setting is the actual file. This isn't a folder. So you, you could actually put in, you know, setting dot config. You can do that or you can just leave it as setting. In my case, I'm just going to leave it as setting. But uh, but again, this setting is, is not a folder. This setting is is a file at the at the end here. OK, so settings full path and I'm going to turn this into a path object. And the path object is from the path lib library. So now this is a full path to, to this file, uh, the setting file. And from here, we can say settings full path dot write text. And we're going to write the JSON data. That's it. So now it's going to write this JSON data to this file, which is, which is here. And we don't have to worry about closing the file because the path lib library will take care of that for us. Okay. So I'm going to save the file and let's just see what the file looks like. I'm going to go here. I'm going to check the check button. Then I'm going to click save. Then I'm going to open the file with a, a text editor. Okay, I'm just going to drag this window here so you can see it. And this is my setting file. And yeah, this is the actual data in the file. So it says option underscore one and true. This is actual JSON syntax. Okay, so it's saving it to a file. Now we just have to load it 
from the same file the next time we start our application. Okay, so let's do that now. Because right now, if I close the window and reopen it, it's not going to remember the setting because we're not loading the setting. Okay, so save button clicked. We have that. And we're going to have another function here. I'm going to call it load setting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for the existence of that setting file because it may not exist when the program runs for the first time. So I'm going to say if settings full path exists, or I should say uh, if not settings full path exists, then return. So it's just going to return none if the settings file doesn't exist. And if it does exist, it's going to continue with the code. So here I'm going to write JSON data because the contents of the settings file is JSON data equal settings full data dot read text. And that's it. So it's going to read the contents of that settings file into this variable. And now we're going to convert that JSON data back into a normal Python dictionary. So I'm going to say load underscore data equal JSON dot load s JSON data. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're reading the, 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 the contents of the file and we're putting it into this variable. Then we're going to convert that JSON syntax, that format, into a normal Python dictionary. Okay, so I'm going to print this load data variable so we can see what it looks like. So we need to actually call this function whenever our program first starts up. So here I'm going to put load setting. So every time our program runs, it, it runs this uh, function. Okay, so if I run it, if we look at the console down here, it says option underscore one true. And you can see that the T is capitalized because now it's been turned into a normal Python dictionary. If this had been a JSON format, the T would have been lowercase. So, so we can tell from this that this is a, a, a proper uh, Python dictionary. So now that we have our Python dictionary here, we need to take that Boolean value and send it to our TK variable to, to set it to true or false. That, this is for the, for the check button. Okay, so here I'm going to put V underscore option one, which is our check button variable, the special TK variable dot set. We're going to set the value and we're going to set it to load. Actually, we need to convert this into, we need to get the true and false value first. So here I'm going to put value equal load data dot get option underscore one. So we're getting the dictionary value of this key. Because if you remember the, the, the key is option one, we want to just get this setting. So we're getting this from our normal Python uh, dictionary and we're putting the true and false value here and we're going to set this variable the TK variable based on this okay so that should do it so if we run it let's just see what happens okay so we can see that our check button is checked if I uncheck it and click save close it and reopen it it's not checked which is good and if I check it and click save, close it, reopen it, it's now checked. So that's basically how to save uh, settings to a file so that it can remember the, the state of widgets in your TKinter application.